Hello friends, so welcome to this session on real numbers. Today we are going to discuss some properties of divisibility. But before that, let's do a quick recap on what was divisibility. So if you remember, in the last session we discussed that if A divides B, and this is how we used to represent, uh, you know, uh, that A is a factor of B. So what was this? So this statement was nothing but this means A is a is a factor or a divisor of factor of b so we, we say this only when there exists a, a integer c so uh, mind you here the condition was that a cannot be zero so division by zero was not allowed and b can be p is any integer b is an integer yeah so any integer be it positive negative but an integer. So we say that if a is an a is an integer, b is an integer, but a is not equal to zero, and we say that a divides b only when there exists what as another integer, another another integer, there exists another integer c, another integer c such that b equals a times c. Yeah. So we learned this in the last session. Example. So we say five divides twenty because there exists a 4 such that 20 is equal to 5 into 4 this is what we learned and we say that 5 doesn't divide 26 because there exists no integer no integer yes there are rational numbers or other real numbers no integers there is a rational number which exists such that you know that particular number when multiplied by 5 gives you 26 but there exists no integer no integer mind you there exists no integer such that 5 into that c that integer will give you 26 so there exist c doesn't exist we c doesn't doesn't exist where c is an where c is an integer c is an integer right so this is what we learned in the last lecture now let's go to you know go uh, let's try and understand some properties of divisibility so this will be helpful to you while analyzing lots of mathematical problems later on so let me just tabulate them here one by one it will be a good practice if you also maintain a table like that so during our childhood or during our school days we used to compile all the results and theorems and you know uh, the other information in one notebook so which we used to refer whenever we used to solve problems so let's talk about what properties, 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 properties of div divisibility, of divisibility. Okay, let's see what are the properties of divisibility one by one. And we request you to jot down in a separate notebook. So first one is plus one and minus one. So plus minus one divides divides every non zero integer so what i'll do is i'll explain the property and then i'll take examples so plus one and minus one divides every non zero integer this should not be a big thing to understand because one divides one divides i can write 25 yeah or one divides one divides any a where a is an integer isn't it a is an integer similarly minus one also divides 26 or minus one divides any a why because i will by the definition of divisibility for the first case for this case I, there exists another c which will give me so 25 can be expressed as 1 into 25 so this obeys the first divisibility definition which we just understood so hence 1 divides 25 similarly minus 1 divides 25 this is property number 1 let's go to the next property property number 2 okay so property number 2 what's property number 2 so second property is 0 is 0 is divisible divisible by 0 is divisible by every non 
ज़ीरो इंटीज़र नॉन ज़ीरो इंटीज़र ए दैट व्हाट डज इट मीन और इन मैथमेटिकल लैंग्वेज आई कैन राइट ए डिवाइड्स ज़ीरो वेयर ए इज एन इंटीज़र ए इज एन इंटीज़र इज इट इट again there doesn't take much of a thought process to understand this because if you see zero can always be expressed as a into another b where b is also an integer b is an integer so again it defines or it satisfies the definition of divisibility so hence we can say zero is divisible by any every non zero integer a why are we emphasizing this non zero part because we'll see in the third property the third property is divisible by divisible or division by zero is not allowed or we say zero does not does not divide an integer does not divide divide any integer so so wherever uh, you um encounter a case where there is a division possible by zero then you know that's not allowed so zero doesn't doesn't divide let me just write it properly once again so zero doesn't divide a where a is an integer okay any integer this is property number 3 so just to you know uh, give a little bit more insight into this so many times what you do is for example you have an expression like a times let's say x minus b is equal to c times x minus b let's say you get an expression like that and we have seen people doing a mistake of cancelling x minus b from both sides it's a classical mistake why because you don't know if x minus b so this basically why can you uh, how can you cancel it because you're saying a by c is equal to x minus b by x minus b this is a usual Uh, process now you can cancel this only when you are hundred percent sure that x minus b is not equal to zero. So hence you cannot simply uh, cancel this. So if x becomes b, then this cancellation is not allowed. So please be careful. So hence zero does not divide any integer. So you cannot do an operation like that. In fact, zero doesn't divide any real number. Forget about any integer. Division by zero is not allowed. Okay. property number 4 property number 4 is what is property number 4 property number 4 is if a is a non non zero integer if a is if a is a non zero integer again we are talking about non zero integer non zero integer non zero integer and b is and b is any other integer any integer not necessarily non zero then 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 a divides b a divides minus b minus a divides b and minus a divides minus b let's take an example and understand this let's say um uh yeah and 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 yes no uh, uh one thing which is missing in this is if a is a non non zero integer and b is any integer then if ah uh, this is missing and if a divides b then then all these will be implied okay so let's take an example so basically let's say 5 divides 50 so this automatically means 5 divides minus 50 how because 5 into minus 10 will give you minus 50 this similarly minus 5 divides 50 because again minus 5 times 10 will give you 50 and then minus 5 also divides minus 50 why because minus 5 into um oh sorry in this case it will be minus 10 and in this case it will be minus 5 into 10 will give you and it's pretty so you see if if this holds true if this holds true then all these three will also hold true okay why because it again defines or let's it satisfies the definition of divisibility let's go to property number 4 okay so we have yeah so let's go to property number 
oh sorry four is done so let's talk about property number five 